What is up you two? I thought it would be the perfect day to test out some products. We're gonna be out and about, we're gonna be doing things. So I really wanna see how these products hold up. I really missed y'all. Unless you follow me on Instagram, you may not know. I posted Instagram looks Monday through Friday, one a day, and it was a really good turnout. So if you follow me on Instagram and you showed love, you just made my week. It was definitely a good way to jump back in for me just to kind of get that mindset of creating and producing and just constantly um, having my my creativity flowing. From the title you guys already know what the review is on but I haven't even opened the packaging that this stuff has came in. Has came in first. Ugh. Sweet tooth much. Cute. This is so stinking cute. So I bought the setting powder and if you're not aware of who this brand is, it's Beauty Bakery. It's owned by a um, black woman. Honestly, I've heard nothing but good things about it, so I'm super excited to try this out. I've heard for oily skin, this product is amazing. I've seen claims where girls wear it all day. Look at that, nutrition facts. So cute. Her theme is like baking, so like flour, cookies. But she has other things like foundation. This, I think, has been around in her line for a while. This smells like flour. And I got it in the shade Translucent. Once you open it, it lasts for 12 months and you get 0.49 ounces. And the price for it is 24 bucks. But if you are first time buying from this brand, you are able to sign up for email notifications and get a coupon code. If it's something that interests you at the end of this video, definitely keep that in mind. So far, I love the packaging, like gold and white. You can never go wrong. Other packaging that I got. So this is from Junco, which if you guys have been keeping up with beauty things, this is their, their microfiber their microfiber velvet sponge. Love the packaging though. Ailani has a sponge, so I was able to like touch it and play with it. So you can use this wet or dry. Fully wet your Juno. Juno, sorry. Not Junko, Juno. I mean, it feels different. Definitely doesn't feel like a beauty sponge that I use. And these are the two products I'm gonna be testing out today. I am going to prepare, I'm going to wet this sponge, and we're going to get this video going. Before we get started, I'm quickly going to be priming my face. In about an hour, I'm going to have to leave to go to the store, but I'm going to be doing Halloween makeup on clients this morning. In the evening tonight, we are going to be going to a trunk or treat. So I've wet the sponge, and I feel like it's a bit bigger. Um, it still feels dense though. So for our foundation, I'm going to use Fenty Beauty, but I feel like it might be too light, um, even though I know it oxidizes. I'm going to mix Fenty Beauty with Double Wear Foundation, and I'm just going to go for like a light foundation wear. So what I like to do is I like to apply the foundation. I know this Fenty Beauty one dries fast. I'm just going to use the bottom. I would say... <clears throat> I would say that was pretty quick, um, that it blended out the foundation. And honestly, since I mixed Fenty with this foundation, I don't know how it's gonna react. Like, I don't know if it'll still oxidize when I wear makeup on lighter days. I like it. I like the Fenty Beauty foundation because I like how it looks. But so far, like, the way it blends it out, it looks amazing. I feel like the bottom of this sponge is like, really dry but the side of the sponge is still like down because with other beauty blenders that have a round bottom I like to use the bottom you're able to you know spread out your foundation which you need you need to cover a bigger amount of space as for the point and the sides they're still damp I like how it looks like the finish of it it's very seamless um, I don't see any like noticeable 
markings or anything like that. So I'm going to conceal my face and I'm just going to use Makeup Revolution. So now I'm going to use the tip of the sponge. Oh yes. I definitely... Oh, I like how it blends out concealers. It's pretty dense, so you do have to like squeeze it to like get it in there. So I'm also going to apply to the center of my face. And the way it feels, like you can definitely feel like hair-like texture. So, so far, love the sponge. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face before it starts to crease. So I don't know how this is set up. Okay, so it's, um, I like, I actually like this because it helps with controlling product. But um, you can turn the dial so that you can let product out. Then you can also turn it so that it holds the product in for just in case your cover comes off. So I'm gonna pour some of this product in. Ooh, that's a lot of product. I really like how this applies powder. I don't know if I'm like overthinking it. It holds a lot. Like for a beauty blender, I feel like I have to dip back into my powder like multiple times. But for this one, I just have to dip it twice. I, I'm not going to use this dry just because I don't have time to like wait for it to dry down. While it's baking, I'm just going to be applying makeup on the rest of my face. And I will come back, show you guys what the final look is looking like. And then we're going to go about all day. I have the rest of my face on. Um, one thing I have to say when I was dusting off the powder, it was kind of like difficult to dust off so I did feel like I had to really like but other than that I feel like my face is like one more thing I wanted to say about the nutrition packs on this packaging it's actually like listing what you can expect from the powder so the powder is vegan 100% no calories no gluten no parabens lightweight yes which I would have to agree it is lightweight. Mattifying, yes. Yes, I would agree. So the first ingredient in translucent powders is talc, which if it's first, that means there's a lot of it, um, which is probably why it was so white, but we will see how it goes. I did set my face with setting spray. So I feel like now the powder has kind of melted into my face, so it's not, my face isn't looking so powdery. So I do have to get ready to head out. Um, this is my check-in. It is 9.37 in the morning. I'll probably check in with you guys while I'm on the road so you guys can see how the face is looking like in regular light. Other than that, I feel like my next check-in will be in super late just because I'm going to be doing client work. So I will see you guys in a bit, probably in the car. When I was um, walking back to the car after Target, um, I looked at my face in the reflection of my car and my face looks super matte. This is what it looks like in the car. See you guys in a bit. What is up, you guys? So, I've just finished doing client work. Here is the verdict it's around 2 54 right now, so it's about five hours later. I see some oiliness on my nose <laughs> and on like my cupid's bow, and that's usually where I get oily first, but. Otherwise, I'm not looking like an oily grease ball, which... But this is my check-in. I'm heading home. I'm going to be getting my daughter ready. Maybe paint my face. I don't know. I don't think I have time. So I will check in with you guys probably at the end of the night. So, I will see you guys then. What is up, you guys? So, I look worn, tired. I look oily. But it is the end of the night. It is 11.03 p.m. So I've worn this face for 14 hours. Around the, look at me, I'm a hot ass mess. Probably around the eighth hour, my face was still, like I said, it's products that I've used before that haven't lasted eight hours. So I know that this powder is good. Like I know it'll last an event, 
Um, I definitely know that it'll need some touch-ups. I've never seen like creasing under my eyes, but like I was laughing a lot this evening. That's probably what it's from, but I know it'll need touch-ups if I do plan to wear it for a full day. For a good amount of the day, I'm set. So I'd have to say I really do like the sponge and I really do like the powder off of a first impression. Um, I am going to be playing with it more, wearing it more, using it more. Powder retails for $24 but like I said if you sign up for their email you, they do provide a coupon code and then the Juno and Co sponge retails for $6. I think I'm going to buy a few more sponges just because I really really like it and with the quality and like the kind of sponge it is. I don't know if like I keep it as long as a beauty blender. I don't know. So that is my review on these two products. I really really hope you guys enjoyed this two-in-one review. Um, if you want to see anything else please let me know and I will do my best to do that for you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already because that would mean so much to me. If you want to keep up with me elsewhere you can follow my social media links or social media that will always be in the description bar. Good night, and I will see you guys in my next video.